literally this is like the major key to do like really really well above everyone else with not really that much effort everyone's hand would be up like oh i wrote this i deserve the mark and then the teacher would come by and be like no it says only and you did not write that so you don't have a mark i also kind of treated each topic test like it was you know quite serious like it's the end thing because in biology there's just so much content that it's really good for you to make all of your flashcards all of your content notes that you need um as you go along in biology there's a mix of arts maths chemistry and biology so it's definitely really really interesting and i really enjoyed it and i think you will too Hello, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a video on how I got an A in A-level biology in 2020 when it was SAGS and teacher assessed grades and you know how I just was throughout the entire year. I felt like I was majoring in biology, I loved it. Yeah, I really enjoyed biology, I tutored in biology and you know I got very high percentages in a lot of tests like the first test I ever did I got 100% you have a B so yeah I've just written down my best advice my best tips for anyone who needs that A who wants that A and who wants that A star if you're going to you know have an exam to actually help you with which I didn't but anyway I have a lot of advice and not gonna lie I filmed this video before the files corrupted so you know I already know what I'm gonna say so this will be a good video first things first you need to really understand all the things in biology and be able to like word them in a different way like you know a lot of things in biology like the Krebs cycle photosynthesis like they're kind of a lot to take on but if you just really understand everything, it will be a lot easier for you to do things right. Just change mics. So the main thing is that you understand literally everything that there is to understand. And, you know, this comes from giving yourself a lot of different resources to use, like the CGP guides, the textbooks, online videos, your teachers, asking, you know, anyone that can help. And just really understanding things overall really helps you just to apply things and in biology there's a lot of application i feel like that's kind of what separates the a's and the a stars uh like being able to take something that you know and then apply it to something completely new like from a human to an animal so one thing that i did that really helps me especially in year 12 um when i had energy <laughs> was to read ahead and literally this is like the major key to do like really really well above everyone else with not really that much effort if you just take the cgp guide and just read a few chapters you will have such an easier time than everyone else because you know when the teacher is you know just spitting facts the board is going everything is happening it's so fast if you've already like read it before you basically already know what's happening and it's like so much less stress how i managed to get like 100 percent in the first test i ever did was by reading the first like five chapters of the textbook just to get a brief overview when i went in that first lesson i wasn't completely shook by everything and in biology there's so so much content so if you can just give yourself the ease of just having things you know laid out better in your mind um to connect all the different topics it will be a lot easier for you to do well overall so when it comes to reading ahead like in the in the later years i definitely think it does help but maybe less so because it's still quite complex but even if you should just make a really brief note summarizing what you've read then that'll be good and my teacher ended up giving us like little brief homeworks of reading like, really like difficult biology uh, sheets and then for homework we'd have to do like a really brief summary in like a Cornell method to show that we'd understood the thing just so that when you go in the lesson it's less of a crazy jump learning about all these really complex things i know it seems like a lot of effort but honestly reading ahead is the way to go so talking about homework i wrote do your homework you know especially when it comes to like revision and stuff people can put emphasis on other things than homework but sometimes these really niche like weird questions that your teachers gives you as homework can be good because you know that's also applying the application and you know in the test things won't be as straightforward as you think most likely like it will be quite weird 
so even if the homework doesn't seem like it would be that useful definitely still do it you know in your study periods i guess things are different now um with covid but get your homework out of the way and then once you have that burden off you it's a lot easier to revise and know like what you have to do biology homework was one of the easiest ones to do like it's more interesting than any other another tip is to really get used to drawing diagrams and you know having that kind of visual learning because in biology you know you'll be drawing things in your exam you'll be using your ruler you'll be using your sharpener rubber so it's very much like a kinesthetic thing a visual thing there's a lot more layers to it than the average a level definitely like practice using different forms of learning like you know draw that heart diagram draw all of the like you know animal diagrams of their breathing this is where it's kind of more fun to make it cute and aesthetic and all that but I think it's really good that you can like conjure up diagrams um, from your mind and they can be really helpful in the exam when you're applying it to something else. One thing that I really enjoyed with biology was making flashcards on paper with like really nice notes. Flashcards are the way forward and especially with biology it's good to do them by hand with all the diagrams and things so that you can get used to the kind of ways of thinking that you have. With flashcards you just get that repetition and the recall that is really useful when learning anything. So creating your own flashcards is good because you have the process of like making notes but then the also learning process of actually using all the flashcards by the end of the year like you know have the fat stack of flashcards so online flashcards are great as well but yeah one thing i wrote as well was to make flashcards out of the really hard questions that you keep on getting wrong and i think it's really important to like notice what you do wrong certain topics that catch you out because you know in biology there's just so so many different topics and chapters and the textbooks are so thick so if you can avoid making the same mistakes twice then that will help you a lot and you know with flashcards and things it's easy to think you know i know this like i'm so clever but you should really be quite cutthroat with it you have a side of like this is really easy i don't need to look at it this is like okay or like this is like i don't know what this is at all so i'm like really really strict with it so if it doesn't like come to my mind before i turn it over then I'll put it in the side to be like repeated and repeated and it'll be really easy for you to remember it because like you know you've had that whole process of all the different things in the test when you when you need to recall the information. Another thing I wrote is to interact in class and I know that you know this isn't it sometimes and it's definitely some teachers that make it more easy to interact in class than others but I think with biology it's really good to interact in class um, just to keep yourself on your toes because you know there's just so much going by that it can be easy to lose detail when people would just like take a photo of the board um, to try and like catch up but it's quite easy to you know not pay as much attention so by putting yourself out there and asking a question answering the teacher all of that it just shows that you're you know hard working and all of that and especially with tags um, or tags teacher assessed grades you need your teacher to have a good opinion of you and know that you try hard and work hard and all of that final tip is to do as many past paper questions as you can and as you know biology is just so hard with the mark schemes and honestly like you know going through papers that you've done as topic tests everyone's hand would be up like oh I wrote this I deserve the mark and then the teacher would come by and be like no it says only and you did not write that so you don't have a mark the only way that you can get used to being right according to the mark scheme is by doing a lot of different questions there's lots of question banks online like on physics and maths tutor maths made easy all of these websites and my teachers ended up like collating legacy questions um which you know are always easier than the ones that we have now but honestly just getting used to you know making your answers concise with the keywords is really helpful so that you're like you know getting as many marks as possible with biology it's not the one where you can waffle through it like you really can't waffle through it <laughs> especially for six marks questions where there's like a certain amount of space and you need to answer especially with six mark questions if it says advantages and disadvantages and you only gave advantages then you're going to be losing marks because you didn't answer the question fully so it's definitely one that practice makes perfect and you know there's not that many papers but don't be afraid to do different exam boards and just really get the most out of it i also kind of treated each topic test like it was you know quite serious like it's the end thing 
because in biology there's just so much content that it's really good for you to make all of your flashcards all of your content notes that you need um, as you go along so that you have as much time to dedicate to it and when you need it um, it will just be there and ready for an a star um, to be honest i think if i had set the exam i would have gone a star but anyway that's if i'd been able to sit the exam i think i definitely would have gone a star but you know that's fine i'm happy with an a and um yeah um one thing about biology is that the grade boundaries are really really low because of the mark schemes and in biology there's a mix of art maths chemistry and biology so it's definitely really really interesting and i really enjoyed it and I think you will too. So I hope this is like some more realistic, helpful advice that you can use to get an A or an A star in your center assessed grade, in your teacher assessed grade and um, for the mini exams and all of that. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. -bye.